All right, so today we're going to be taking apart a calculator, and I'll be showing you how it works. It's just a basic calculator. It has all the functions and everything. So yeah, let's get into this. So materials for today are going to be just some small screwdrivers that you have around your house, or you just buy them at the dollar store. So grab about a medium size Phillips head screwdriver and flip over your calculator. And first you're going to locate the battery proportion where all the where the battery is stored. So you're going to go ahead and take out one the screw the screws that are around that. So once you have that out, you're going to take out the battery. And now take out this remaining screws around. So this one, that one, that one, and that one. And it depends on how many screws you have, just depending on the calculator. Some could have a lot, some could have just a couple. And some could just have like, like one. And yeah. Yeah, and see, so, you know, it's there just because of personal reasons. Alright, so now that we have all five screws out, or however many screws you guys had, um, you can go ahead and lay the calculator face down and lift up the back side and bring it forward like this. So, now we have the in inside guts of the calculator. So here we have the solar panel, which um, helps keep the battery longer and so has a longer battery, has a longer life. And our screen right here that shows you the numbers and projects all the stuff. And our circle board, which is tells you all the information and um, calculates the numbers and everything, and then just a bunch of wires that connect to the points where you, um, put in your math equation or whatever you're doing, and they come in to the circuit board and display on the screen, and the battery just charges with, helps charge, and then beneath this is a rubber pad, which these are, these are like sensors, I guess, and when these like come down, when you press on the buttons, these black dots go down because you press, and they go on these like little wavy things, and that tells and that tells the circuit board what numbers you're typing in, so it displays those numbers on the screen. And yeah, yeah, that's basically how a calculator works. This is just a simple one. Yeah. Uh, if, thank you for watching uh, Creative Ideas by Cody, and if you guys have any ideas on what I should do, just put it in the comments, and see you guys on the next time. Tune in. Thank you, and bye.